Hello, LB. So far, I've shown you how to use OBS to set up a webcam so you can do simple recording and add a logo so you can have uh, a branded video, something that looks like it goes with your score, with your subject. The last thing I want to do is show you how to set up PowerPoint, which is something you already know how to use, so that you can use PowerPoint kind of like a green screen. So you can put content into PowerPoint, but yet have your video shine through on that PowerPoint. To do this, I'm going to go back to my setup. I have a link to a Google Doc that I shared with you whenever we did the, the training before school started. So it's bit.ly slash lb-obs. And if you go out to that Google Doc, all the way at the bottom of this Google Doc, so just scroll all the way to the bottom, I have a resources section, and actually there's only one resource. So the resource I have is a PowerPoint template. So if you download that PowerPoint, so click on it, then click on the little download button, save it on your computer, and, and then open it up. I've, I've already saved it on my computer. So I'm going to open this up. And now I'm going to open up OBS. So OBS is just the way that I left it. You can still see I've still got my little uh, logo in the corner. Now, I'm not going to need that second logo because I'm going to add an overlay that uh, is going to have a logo or whatever I want to have. Now, I could remove this by clicking on it and hitting the minus, or I could do something really simple like make it invisible. So I clicked on the little eyeball, and that makes it invisible whenever uh, my, my OBS is running. However you want to do that, it's up to you. You can leave it in there and make it invisible, or you can just delete it out. With what I'm going to show you, you might just want to get rid of it because you're probably going to be using a PowerPoint overlay most of the time. Now there's one key thing here. Notice that I first opened up PowerPoint. I did that because now I'm going to tell OBS to use PowerPoint, and I can't do that unless PowerPoint's open. So I'm going to go back to OBS after my PowerPoint's open, and I'm going to add a resource. I'm going to click Plus, and I'm going to select Window Capture. This lets me capture any window, a program that's running on my computer, capture that window. So I click on Window Capture. I'm going to call this PowerPoint. And then it detected that PowerPoint was running, so it automatically picked it up already. I click OK. And now I have this window right here that is an overlay, but it's PowerPoint. One thing uh, I'm going to change or I'm going to make sure is set is in my PowerPoint under Slideshow, I'm going to go to Show Setup and check this box that says Browse by an Individual Window. When I do that and I go into Presentation Mode, this box is filled up on PowerPoint, but it doesn't take the whole screen. Now notice I've moved OBS up here to one side, and I've got PowerPoint to the other side, so I can see both of them. I'll show you why that's important in just a minute. What I want to do now is I want to adjust the PowerPoint window so that it completely fills up my OBS window. There we go. Now notice if this box is shaped differently, I could end up with black bars on the top and bottom, or if I made it too wide, I could end up with black bars on the edges. I want to make it to where my PowerPoint presentation window is the size of my PowerPoint. That way, over here in OBS, I don't get any edges that aren't part of my PowerPoint. Now notice on my PowerPoint, if I go to the next slide, in OBS, I have what looks like a black, a black slide. I have a, a lower third that I'll show you how to change in a minute. But first, I want to make it to where 
my video camera shows up in this block space. To do that, I'm going to right click. I'm sorry, I'm going to go down here to my PowerPoint and right click on it. I want to add a filter. And the filter, there's a little plus right here. The filter I want to add is a color key. I'm only going to have one, so I can just call it color key. By default, this looks for a green screen, but I don't have a green screen. I have a black screen. So instead of green, I'm going to customize the color. So I click custom color, then I select the color, and I'm going to select black. Click OK, click close, and now my PowerPoint has my picture embedded in it. Notice if I go back to my first slide, there's nothing in there that's black, so the whole thing just shows my PowerPoint. But if I go to the next slide, now I have my video in top, my lower third. I remember this is PowerPoint, so at any time I can go back here put my content in there, and now that's what shows up in my lower third in my PowerPoint. And I have uh, several different kinds of backgrounds. I have this inserted box. I also tried it without a box at all, just white text or dark text, depending on the background you have. If you're in front of a, a white wall or in front of a dark wall, one of those will work better than the other. I also have the just the logo in the corner. And then if you don't want anything, I have just a black screen. So this shows through as what looks like my whole video, but it's really just a black slide in PowerPoint. Now in doing all this, I could uh, close everything. i close OBS, close PowerPoint, And tomorrow I could come back, open up OBS. Now it's looking for a PowerPoint, which it hasn't found. But if I open up my PowerPoint, it's going to load it in with all the settings that I had today. So my transparent background is still there because OBS remembers and this particular PowerPoint's got a filter that filters out all the black, makes it transparent. So now I have a way of making any kind of content I want in PowerPoint. You could actually use any program. You could use Google Slides. You could use a Word. You could use any program. As long as you have a way of designating part of it, of having a black screen, and then OBS is going to make that particular color completely transparent. So you have a way of making a very professional looking video without any extra work because you're probably using some content uh, presentation system like slides or PowerPoint as it is. Now you can put them right into OBS and record as you go.